I'm Tiffany Windsor and I love to create jewelry. Today I'm using the Aline's Jewelry and Metal Glue. It's available in both the individual pack and the three pack. For my bracelet, I am using metal pieces to glue together. And some of these are collectibles from jewelry that I've saved over the years. Others you will find in the jewelry department. And check out those jewelry aisles because there's really great bases and other pieces that you can include with your own collectibles. When using your Aline's jewelry and metal glue on the package, it's going to tell you to take off this little cap on the throat there and then this punches down to open up this glue. You can apply your glue right from your container. It has a really fine tip. You can see my glue is already starting to come out. One of the other ways that I apply the glue is to actually put a little puddle onto just a non-stick surface and then I can use a toothpick to apply. I always recap my glue every time in between each time I'm using it. You want to be sure and keep that capped. To start, you want to use rubbing alcohol and just clean off any sort of residue that's on your metal. When they manufacture these pieces, it leaves a residue. Be sure and clean any of your metal pieces up with your rubbing alcohol. Let that dry completely. When you are styling your design, Try and keep in mind you want some of the same elements. You can see here I have a lot of circles going on. And of course, dragonfly is my favorite. Um, hearts, you can add some hearts in also that tie the theme together. So the focus for this bracelet is the Live Your Dream charm. And I'm just going to pick up some of my Aline's jewelry and metal glue with this toothpick. And because this is a very open weave, on my bracelet, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to this piece rather than to the charm because I would end up having too much glue. So set that down, make sure that you have enough that it puddles up behind it. I love to layer my pieces. So as you're laying out your bracelet, decide which pieces that you might want to layer. If you don't wanna get any glue on your fingers, you can also use your tweezers. And it's perfect when you're doing a step like applying a rhinestone, where I just pick it up with my tweezers. I'm going to add a little dab of glue here. Make sure that you have enough that it's gonna puddle up underneath there and stick right to your bracelet. Keep adding all of your pieces, layer them, glue them right in place, and I like to let this set overnight. The last step on this particular bracelet is I'm going to add just um, a lobster to the end so that that will close that piece up. I'm Tiffany Windsor, and this is a terrifically tacky and creatively cool idea.